Uh, all right, we are recording. So, um, did you happen to see? I, I posted on Facebook the uh, Rabbi Wazerson posted something about Armageddon in his in his uh, findings here recently. Really... Also, been seeing other co-searchers have been seeing the same kind of trend, end of days kind of thing, war. Yeah, like that. Yeah. So, so what have you been looking at? As a matter of fact, war is a subject that's on the table I have. And it was just an access term that I thought of. I'll go ahead. I'll go well, ahead let me make sure you can share. Okay. We should have done that. All right. All right. You should be able to share now. Um, let's see. All right, now we're seeing we're seeing your um your screen. This right here is my axis term. Um, I also found a secondary vertical term while while after the fact uh, after yesterday when I had the table up and I was kind of seeing to see if you would jump in the, the chat. Um, it actually gave me time to look the table over. I found another term, um, that goes hand in hand with this, but this is my term. Um. Ot Hadim Bo, um, the time of judgment is coming, and it's just come up, and it's just happened to pop up in a really uh, amazing area in scripture. Um, this is the second term that I saw after I was looking over the other terms. It's 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 Babylon, it's Babel, and Moat. So pretty much Babylon died, or Babylon is dead. I thought that was interesting. Babel, the word Babel and the word moat, which is dead or dies. Um, I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, but this is the access term right here. Um, the time of judgment is coming, and right through it is um, Isaiah 28, 15, the covenant with death. Because we have said we have made a covenant with death and right, right going through here, <clears throat> starting at the top, uh, going through that is uh, Tau, Resh, Calf, Yod, Bet, Vaccine. Going right through that, going right through that scripture right there. <clears throat> this scripture on the bottom is really interesting because we have an actual, we have an actual date. Um, 2020. If you add the Vav, it's 2026. So it gives you another six years if you add that Vav, but if you just take it away, and it's <clears throat> that's in, it's in Isaiah 42. Chris showed me this, I think, um, back, but if you read on more, it's, it really says a lot because it talks about judgment coming. As you read on to the next verse in the verse seven, or in the I'm sorry, in the verse four, it's uh, a bruised reed he shall not break, and the smoking flax he shall not quench. He shall bring forth judgment into truth. And right there in the in the blue highlight, it is where it says he shall bring forth judgment. And in the next verse, it says he shall not fail nor be discouraged till. He has set judgment in the earth, and the isles shall wait for his law. And where it says judgment in the earth, that's like right here. And you have encoded right here in the ELS in those pink boxes, war. Well, but, I'm a, I see yeah, that, man. And sharing a letter with the same word. With the same word, yeah. Um, that's really interesting. And when you see that happen. Mm -hmm. You see L ELS terms sharing ELS with words in the plain text right and um there's uh what is that it's in chapter two. this is all i say uh uh the width of 2681 the whole that's Texas pretty cool story. all all isaiah all in the pro yeah on the prophet isaiah uh, you know so i see just, just a few lines where you have war there i see the the destroyer in um i don't know what line that is let me see uh that's Isaiah 36, 10. Yeah. yeah. The yeah, word of the destroyer is in that line right there. You see it? 36, 10. 
to your top right over there. No, it's not in your matrix. It's just in. It's just a few oh, lines okay. over from. Oh, okay, uh, okay. You see yeah, what I'm yeah. talking about? Yeah, yeah. It would be in here somewhere. Destroying it. The word destroyer there. Thirty six ten. <laughs> destroying it. Um. But yeah, that's the war. Uh, the word war is in thirty six five. They have yeah. strength for war. Um. It was destroyer is we'll look at the whole table. It would be to the uh, left of that. Um, yeah, all the way over. Yeah, but what's really I thought interesting at, at the bottom of this term for a vaccine at the bottom is nephilim. So you have like right. that nephilim connection going on. I thought that was kind of cool. It was just right in the plain text. Um. And then over here in the plain text is, is uh, the burden of Babylon and Russia goes right by that. So that was interesting because like they're like the scapegoat nation. And, you know, everybody made Russia the scapegoat for everything. So like the burden of Babylon, I thought it was kind of fitting. Um, let's see that well, that's, that word for destroyers is mesquite, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there, there it is. is. Yep, yep right see. there. The destroyer is coming. Yeah. The destroyer of the nations. Yeah, and that's actually another one. <laughs> it's not even the 3610. It's another one. So it's actually there twice. So the other one would be a little bit further to the left on your cylinder. But that's oh. all right. It's in your matrix right there. Yeah. Yeah. And you've got in the time of distress. In, where, in where the time. Is that? Of, yeah. In the time is of Jacob's the, trouble. In the time of trouble, that's um, we're still in Isaiah, and that's 30, 32, two. Yeah, oh, you who would be gracious unto us, we have waited in for the time thee. of trouble. Be, be thou in their arm every morning, our salvation, also in the time of trouble. Yeah, in the bet, um, so I thought, bet, bet a Sarah. Yep, <clears throat> I thought that was really interesting. Um, to all of the house of Israel, um. And then you have the, in the blue right here, um, epidemic. Since I had this here, this word right here, I um, figured I'd throw that in. This is really cool right here. This is um, the word for desolation. Um, right here, it talks about the rivers being dried up. Boy, are you kidding me? You see what's going on with this, with, um, yeah. Not only the Euphrates, but the Mississippi. Yeah, and it's you know me. Up. I tra yeah, and I, you know me. I travel all around America, and I, I've, I've seen all the waterways, and they're all shriveling up. Yeah, I got a good couple little fishing spots that I go to. I think there's that are going to be okay for a while, but all in all, like most of your waterways and your streams and stuff and like this that, this is happening all it's, around the world too. All yeah. around the world, not just in America. So. Um, this is just a judgment on the earth. See, I have digged and I have drunk water with the sole of my feet, and I have dried up all the rivers of the besieged places. Well, that's <clears throat> that's right. Yeah, that's right here by war. So you see all these things going on right now all around us. <clears throat> now that we're getting into the end of days. Um, even you know you have the year and everything you have all this stuff in the plain text <clears throat> talks about Babylon dying um, over here uh, it talks about um, burden of the, the burden of the the burden of Babylon being Russia and I'm sure they'll be one of the you know, Gog armies or whatever they they'll get they'll get scapegoated, but they'll be you know part of a they're a major superpower in the world. So, um, I have Bi I had Biden in there too, I, I, but I didn't really pay too much attention to that Biden. Um, he is in there. I'm sure Putin's in here too. Yeah, I, I found a connection with him all the way up until new nuclear holocaust, the original table that 
um, Michael Jawson found. Yeah, has Biden's name in there, but it's but this one's also got Trump's name connected to the access term. So it looks to uh, me like Trump in, inherits uh, Biden's crap, but it doesn't. Uh, yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't bend well for Biden. By the way, I did find you know Biden will die uh, as an access term. I think I've seen you post that. Yeah, yeah. The yesterday I found that I'm still working on it, but the other ones I've worked, I worked on Michael Drawson, which is um, Atomic Holocaust, and I've I've worked on World War. And um, what is this one? Armageddon. Oh, go okay, I Armageddon. saw I saw Glazerson post yesterday Armageddon, which is kind of crazy because that's like a Christian word, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. So that's when when he did right that, there. I went and looked that word up. I did have it as an access term, and um, already, but I didn't find the one he found. There's it's it's encoded several times. And so I, I just picked one and uh, started working it um, because it does look like we are building to that time, man. And, um, you know, all the signs are pointing to that. And I'd seen a trend with, with most code searchers that are finding roughly the same thing. Now, I've been saying this since like 2017 when I was looking at the, the pattern with the, the, the eclipse across the United States and seven years later the other way. And when this happened the last time, 100 years ago, it was a pandemic and there was a world war and, you know, famine was happening at that time. So what's happened before will happen again. Um, some call this stuff twice speak. Uh, it's neither here nor there, but it's it's definitely a pattern and it's it's laid out. And so it wasn't you know, a huge jump for me to conclude it was possible that we would see a pandemic and then world war and famine. And yet here we are and we're seeing all that line up. So um, it doesn't take a genius to look at the text and look at the signs and look at the codes and come up with a conclusion. Um, it's, it's pretty self-evident that um, we're headed down this way. So um, I got this other computer uh, hold up. Let me see if I can share screen over here. And I'll show you what I got. Awesome. So this one is the Armageddon. Armageddon comes. Here's I was looking for two more letters than than Glazerson's. And and for anybody that's interested, it's on my Facebook, I posted this video that Glazers on Armageddon, which led me to this one right here, which is Armageddon comes wow. uh, with two extra letters. And then that very same word for um, the destroyer is right next to you. It's almost the same skip pattern. Oh, wow. Right yeah. There. Both words for you, for America in the blue and the United States come together right there. But also the word, uh, the name for Iran is here. China is vertical here. Russia is here in the red. And uh, Biden's name, Biden's name is here twice, but also Obama. Biden's in the yellow. You see it there in the yellow, but also Obama. It's also here. And I see that quite frequently with some of these tables with Biden and Obama. They're very closely related. Right. And... Um, I think that's because it's not really Biden running this country, you guys. And this this kind of eluded me for so long, even with those that were looking at Obama Antichrist tables and stuff like that years ago. And then when his mm -hmm. presidency el elapsed and we, we went into Trump and I took it off the table. Right. But it was some people that were upset about that, that Ob Obama wasn't out of the game. I disagreed with him. I, I told him it was only if he come into the UN, United Nations or something like that, could he possibly be a forerunner again? Not so. We saw that very clearly with Biden coming in. We also saw that Biden was going to win this last election, right? And he did. He stole it. That was very clear. So we see a close connection. This, this seems to me like a, um, a you know, with Biden taking this from Trump, 
was plan B because Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton was supposed to do it. And that didn't happen. Next best thing is the vice president, which didn't turn out to be a very nice thing. He's been the worst president of all, even worse than Obama. But here we go. The, the, the worst two in American history, Obama and Biden come together in this table right here with Armageddon. Now, Trump's name doesn't appear in this table at all. The word war appears three times, one time in a one time in the plain text, twice as an ELS, once vertical and once right here. And uh, with the word end of days as well. Um, ooh, I was using the wrong cursor. So this is Obama and Biden that comes together with end of days. Iran is right here. I was using the wrong computer. <laughs> Up at the top, you've got America and, and the United States comes together. Russia is in the red. Obama is also down here in um, the black and blue. Wow. Yeah, so that is, this This is based off Glazerson's table about Armageddon. So let's go to the next one. Uh, I've had, and, and this is from people messaging me the past couple of weeks, pleading with me because I've been, you know, for Sukkot, I took Sukkot off, wasn't searching any codes, names, codes, or any anything, right? And then um, here we are back after Sukkot. Um, I'm starting back with the names. And I got people messaging me about World War Three and Jonathan, please put out some codes. We need you, yada, yada, yada. And where have you been? All this kind of stuff. So um, I've been focused on this past couple of days because of that. So this one is the, the um, Michael Drawson code that was posted many years ago. It's the only time it's encoded, which is uh, Atomic Holocaust. He had some very speculative narration about this code. Um, and of course, it did not happen the way he says. It does not make this code irrelevant or not a code. It still is. It's in, it's encoded in a very small skip in, um, you know, the Torah. 1044 is the skip. That is a lot of letters for this anomaly. Oh, wow. So the fact that it didn't happen when Michael Drawson said it was going to happen doesn't mean it's not valid. It's right. I think it still is because it's, it has it has anomalies that he didn't even know about. Like the word, you know, the name Trump is actually connected to the access term by this top, this uh, tet right here in the name Trump. You see that goes off to the to the left like that. Um, Obama's name is here. That's also from, you know, I got a PDF of this and I'll show that in a minute. This is what I've looked at since that PDF. But Trump and Biden's name both are here. Here's Biden's up in the top of the purple. But Trump is in a better arrangement connecting to the access term, which leads me to believe that this is inherited to Trump. Biden actually passes it off. And I really have a hard time seeing him finishing his um, his term. Uh, that's kind of why I was looking for Biden dies. I have a table, and I've said this a couple of years ago, when Biden won, there's also a table that shows Camilla as president. And so it, it leads me to believe that if something happens in the last part of his term, that she is uh, the first female president for a very short period because uh, she does not overcome Trump and, and the re-election of, uh, of his presidency. I cannot find this in the, in the code uh, program that we got for this particular Tanakh, which is the Leningrad. Um, but from what I hear from some of the other guys, you found Trump's second term in the other programs, uh, particularly the Peshitta probably. Um, mm -hmm. So I've always said that it's, if, he, if he comes back, it's possible it's in the New Testament. So that's where I'm at. I couldn't find it in this, this particular text. It doesn't show him uh, coming back, but it does seem to, that would be the case. Um, and if it is, we got to consider the anomaly that's in his table about the assassination. That's still in play if that's the case. So end of days is also in this table up at the top here. 
that's in uh, Davarim. Uh, war is here three times in the plain text and one as an ELS. No, twice as an ELS. Once here and once crossing uh, this point right here with a couple of uh, other anomalies. Um, one being America in the blue and the other in purple being ambushed. Ambushed. And where this happens in this particular verse, where all three of these terms come together, I think is an indication of when this is particularly possibly going to happen, which is a Shabbat. Mm. This is at a Shabbat time right here. As you can see that word Shabbat right there. This is talking about keeping the Shabbat and keeping it holy. Um, traditionally with uh, the enemies of Yahuwah, especially like in the 60s and 70s, the enemy would attack at Shabbat times, even high holy days. Right. And so that's that's still a very possible thing that this would be a strategy of the enemy. What's really interesting about um, these anomalies right here is this. You've got America in the blue. You've got the children of Israel crossing in the plain text in the brown. But you also have got NATO in the green. FEMA as in FEMA camps in the red and the judgments all come together in this one spot right here. So I think this is a result of the atomic Holocaust. All of these things um, come together like that. All right. So that is atomic Holocaust from Michael Drazen. Let's see. Um, and what's the other one I got here? Armageddon. We talked about Armageddon already, right? We did. We talked about that one. All right. So the other one I got is uh, what I found yesterday, which is um, Joe Biden dies. Now, I'm sharing on the wrong computer. <laughs> I'm not sure what year this is, but it's not. It's not. It's not too far from now. couple of years at least he's not he's not going to be with us much longer we can actually see that in his mental uh, state this is uh very concerning and i believe this is encoded just one time i've just i've, I've just started working on this by the way so That's what it looks like. At a 105.10, that's with a row skip. Mm. Yeah. I had something like this on, on the Queen, but this was after the fact. This is obviously before. So whatever that day is, it's going to be here somewhere in a very close proximity to, to that anomaly. What's the Ashes term again? Joe Biden dies. Oh, okay. That's right. You got president Ash crossing, crossing his name. Oh, okay. President yeah, in the plain yeah. text. Yeah. Yeah. America in the blue there. So very, very preliminary. I haven't really worked at it all. I've been focused on other things. So that's what I got for uh, this little presentation, man. Those Chris has shared some things. Uh, Martin has shared some things. Other other co teachers have shared kind of very similar tables. It looks like these things are upon us, man. So yeah, be prayed up, you guys. Don't yeah, be fearful it's, either. It's not a time to be fearful. Right. Seeing pro Bible prophecy happen, we know these things are going to um, going to have. I should. I guess I should have showed you the verse that was one through one of these anomalies, which was where you who promises to gather his people. And uh, it happens simultaneously with all these kind of things that are happening. Um, war, famine, and pestilence, and judgment upon the earth. But he is faithful to preserve his people. Well, I mean, that's the best part. I mean, it's, and it's, you know, we're seeing all the things that are he talks about in, in Matthew 24, 
to look for these things and it's picking up with more and more and more intensity and it's just not we're just pat we're just past business as usual at this point and yeah i mean it, and the coding for it everything in the coding about all this stuff is so concise and tight and like tight matrixed and all the terms come together very concise and and just the stuff that comes up in the in the surface text it's just it's really uncanny so yeah it's a matter of interpretation at that point right yeah there should be alarms going off like out there for people like for sure like hey Absolutely. look at this stuff <laughs> you know and I, and I think that's why he get he kind of kind of gives us this you know this is kind of like you know this is the alarm the right. alarm room you know like hey <laughs> it's time it's definitely a confirmation for two because we're seeing not we're not just speculating here we're seeing all what's taking place with china and taiwan and and russia and ukraine these are clear sparking points that we're seeing in the codes that this this is taking place yeah and, um, and it make and it patterns the the first world war twice because the, the this was a localized thing in World War One. Now it's two localized things that's going to draw in the rest of the world. Uh, I just posted an article and a video set today about um, Russia de declaring to be on the lookout for a Russian missile replica striking mm -hmm. Chernobyl. Right, so they're already putting it out there that it's it's very possible someone is going to use a Russian lookalike missile to hit Chernobyl. Mm -hmm. uh, when um, Amir Safadi uh, yesterday was talking about a dirty bomb, this could be just this is just as this is just like a dirty bomb. It, it's blowing up Chernobyl and creating a, a a dirty bomb atmosphere. Very plausible. Why would Russia be putting this information out there? Right that. That someone's right. going to impersonate their missile to shoot at this, um, which is a it's a contained facility now. They they spent many years putting a concrete outer shell only on this thing. Of course, this happened in like the late eighties. If you guys remember Chernobyl, um, it's it's been contained inside of a, a a shell. Well, if they put a missile in there, then we got a problem all over again. The, the, you know, this stuff is put out in the atmosphere and travels around and creates chaos and death. I mean, many people died from that man, from cancer and, and, and lingering diseases. So um, that's something to look out, right? These, these things are going to grow. And it took about four years in the first world war too, by the way, for it to come to a all out. You know, when it first started, it would, everybody was kind of like, this will be over by Christmas. But, you know, after four years of it, everybody was like, couldn't, they were stunned at the number of people that were dead at that point. Yeah. It was a bad thing. So that's yeah. all I got, brother. Um, you got anything else? Um, no. Um, I was working on a few other things, but that's kind of in the back burner. I mean, this is really the only thing I had up at, at the moment, but. Very um, good. Been doing a couple of things for some people and just kind of, um, actually, if that's from before Sukkot, like I'm like, you know, I'm with, I'm in Europe in the same boat you're in, you know, trying to catch up. At, yeah. Because I yeah, took a look, whole week off. Yeah. To look at people's tables and then to look at ministry tables and stuff like that. But I wanted to do, I just, it's kind of crazy how you had these tables and was talking about stuff so, because I just, I just felt the spirit telling me to do like um yeah, um a, t a judgment table, you know, and then a day's table. Yeah, it seems like everybody seems to be on the same page. So I think you know, so. I had several people emailing me about you got to put something out, man. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but um, I knew I, I knew great, what it was about. Had a great Sukkot. I mean, it was um, it was just really incredible. Um, it was quite an experience. Um, I'm just still wore out from being back, <laughs> right? And uh, just had my my just sticking my face in a fire in a campfire for almost ten days. I mean, but I think it did us a lot of good. We all right. had a great time. It, just, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, we had a good time too. It was a lot of a lot of preparation. I did a lot of cutting down logs and trees and stuff like that, and building a sukkah and 
Um, it was very tiring, but it was fun. That's the, that's the thing, though. People th you think you're just going to go camping, but when you read the commandments, it says you got to go cut the for trees and build a sukkah. Yeah. So we had our we had our big tent, but then we built a little sukkah outside of it, like a little detached like entrance way. It was pretty cool. Yeah. So, but well, that's hope, good, man. I'm glad yeah. you guys had a good time. Yeah, we did. I hope everybody out there did too. We did. Everybody's... We did a lot of studying too. Probably too much. It was it was pretty right. <laughs> it was pretty yeah, intense. But I gleaned a lot of things that I can bring on the channel and teach. And plus, I made some really good Hebrew friends, like a, a brother who is a, a former Sephardic rabbi for more than 20 years that's a believer in Yeshua. And I'm you know, oh, trying to oh, work yeah. out some kind of collaboration with him. He's, he's going to be helping me rebuild the website. And I'm trying to integrate his really? his teachings into what I'm doing. And, and right. so along the lines of the school. Because he is very, you know, he's fluent in three different languages and uh, very fluent in Hebrew. He's so from he, Israel, is he from Israel? Yeah, his father lives in Israel right now. Oh, wow. Yeah, but he's he's from New York in New Jersey. He had a, he had a, yeah, um, represent. Sorry. Yeah, he had a um, congregation in New Jersey and then uh, moved down to Florida and um, kind of converted to Messianic. Yeah. It's very him, similar story to, to um, Zev Porat. He, he, his father's a rabbi. Oh, his he's like a Zev is, Porat. Yeah. Yeah. His whole family is is religious, but he's really cool, man. And he's he's learned from me. I've learned from him. And we're thinking about collaborating um, together That's on cool. some stuff. So, yeah. His name's Yaakov. Yaakov. Jacob. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's kind of what I've been doing. Also making some transitions, man. I may be transitioning um down here in north florida staying close to my mom and uh, but also you know collaborating with some hebrews and getting into ministry who has opened some doors and brought some other people in my life man and so you know i'm trying to take advantage that. of that yeah it's, yeah it's awesome how he does that he's done that for us too so you know it's just it's just a matter of just being patient and seeing which way he wants you to go you know amen Amen, brother. Well, if you come up with anything else you want to share, just let me know. We'll do another broadcast. Oh, yeah. We'll do it again for sure, brother. Yeah. All right. Praise God. I'm going to knock the uh, I'm gonna pause the broadcast right here, and then I'm going to upload this probably later on the night, man, because people are okay. really on me about getting something out. And um, oh, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't blame them. Don't blame them <laughs> we've all been away on break for Sukkot. Right. It just seemed like the time went by too quick. It, it did. And then, it, you know, I felt overloaded when I come back. I had this workload to really kind of get involved with, but it is what it is. Anyway, shalom to you, brother. I love you, man. All right. Shalom to you. Love you too, brother. All right.